Now, new at 6, a story you'll only see on 7. We are hearing from the father of the boy who wrote a kill list at a local middle school. And that student is headed to an alternative school for at least the next year. But his dad says there's a side of the story that no one is telling. Mike Manzoni spoke with the boy's father this morning. Mike, what does he have to say? Well, Amy, he didn't want to talk with us on camera, but the first thing that he wants everyone to know is that he does not think what his son did was right, and he says he agrees with the punishment, but he says the students on that kill list, there were three of them, bullied his son for more than a year before this all happened. Just hours after school officials here at Rainbow Lake Middle School found the seventh grade student with the kill list, a school resource officer rushed over to the boy's house and searched his room, but didn't find anything suspicious. That's all according to the 12-year-old boy's father, who says the students on that list bullied his son since last year, calling him names, shoving him, and tripping him in the hallway. We have an open door policy. That's why the boy's dad says he complained to the school last year as often as three times a week, but says he never heard back from the school and the bullying continued. We stopped by the Spartanburg School District 2 offices this afternoon and got a copy of its policy on bullying. The policy says any student or student's parent or legal guardian is encouraged to file a complaint. From there, the school investigates. If bullying happened, the school takes corrective action, which can include everything from an apology to an expulsion. Wow. District 2 Superintendent stop. Scott Mercer says he can't talk about the case or investigation because of federal school privacy laws. This was his response when I asked him if he was concerned that a parent felt like he was getting nowhere when he complained about bullying. When we hear of incidences, we work with them. We work with the kids and, and we try to arrive at solutions. And sometimes there's punishment to meet out, sometimes there's conversations. We involve parents. Now the boy's father went to an orientation at an alternative school this afternoon. He says that he hopes the district will allow his son to return to Rainbow Lake next year. Amy. All right, Mike, thank you. Now, I spoke with the father of one of the children on that kill list this week. He said that they were told bullying played a role, but they were not told who was bullying who. The dad said that his son is the type to befriend children who get picked on. Sparberg School District 2 tells us it started a new program last year to try to stop bullying before it happens. The program is called PBIS, which stands for Positive Behavioral Intervention Support. The federally funded program is designed to get students to respect one another.